Well, hi there. It's meteorologist Chris Spears. Welcome to CBSN Denver and our little weather school. Hope you've enjoyed our series this week. We're going to be taking a look at Colorado's own tornado alley today, and I want to start off with what is a tornado? Well, here's the definition. It's a violently rotating column of air that is in contact with the ground, and that's a very key thing. Most tornadoes happen to be short-lived, and most are on the ground only for a short period of time, four miles or less. But we can see those long lived, long track tornadoes sometimes with the strongest of severe thunderstorms. And here in the northern hemisphere, the majority of our tornadoes rotate counterclockwise, just like a little small scale low pressure. But sometimes we have documentation that some tornadoes can actually rotate the other way or clockwise. And that's a big mystery. There's a lot of research and some theories about why that can happen. But what I can tell you is it's not very common. So when a tornado develops, we've got five stages they go through, but I really want to focus on these first two. And let me step out of the way so you can see the screen fully. The first is called the dust whirl stage, and this is where dust is whirling up from the ground into the funnel. The tornado is literally sucking air off the ground, creating that dust to rise. Then the tornado will move into its organizing stage, and this is where the funnel is going to fully extend down to the ground. And during the organizing stage, your tornado is strengthening both in size and and in wind. Let me give you a little example here of what we mean by the dust whirl stage. If we pulled this picture up and said, what is this? Chances are a lot of you would say funnel cloud because your eye sees a funnel, but there's nothing connecting it to the ground. But take a little closer look here, and this is a little grainy. It's a fairly low resolution picture. Can you see the dust rising up from the surface there below this funnel cloud? This means the circulation is on the ground and therefore it is a tornado. And as tornadoes go from the dust whirl stage into the organizing stage, a lot of times this lower piece of what we call the condensation funnel is missing, especially in a very dry climate like Colorado. So if you ever see a funnel cloud, the moral of the story is look straight below. If you see rising dust, that circulation is indeed on the ground and it's not a funnel cloud. It is a tornado. There are three more stages once we get past the organizing stage. The third one is is the mature stage, and this is where your tornado is going to be the most severe. It should be its largest size with its strongest wind. In other words, the tornado peaks. Then we go into the shrinking stage, and while the tornado is still capable of violent damage, overall things are starting to decrease, and eventually this funnel is going to enter the last stage we call the decay stage, and this is where it lifts off the ground and starts to go away. Now, if you know anything about tornado history, back in time, you would hear storms rated as F, F0, F1, F2. That was the Fujita scale. In 2007, a lot of research went into this and, and with improved building codes and, and just how things are done differently compared to the 50s, 60s, and 70s, the code was enhanced. And so now we use what's called the enhanced Fujita scale or EF and then they go zero through five. Let me get out of the way. Look at the bottom of your screen. An EF zero and an EF one are considered to be weak tornadoes. Damage is usually minor to moderate. We're talking something like maybe a few shingles off of your roof, maybe a tree blown over, something of that nature. Normally, EF zero and EF one tornadoes are survivable. As we move into the two and three, these are more considerable storms. They're called strong tornadoes, considerable to severe damage. Damage. And this is where you will see quite a bit of damage to a well-built home. It may partially collapse, a wall could fall over, the roof may go away. Uh, they can be survivable, but you definitely need to be in some substantial part of the building for shelter. Finally, violent tornadoes, EF4 and EF5, these are the ones that produce devastating to incredible damage. And at times, the foundation of a home could be swept clean. And a lot of times, those tornadoes are really not survivable unless you're below ground in a shelter. Now this map's a little bit hard to read. This is from uh, NOAA. The numbers are sort of small, but what I want to point out to you, this is showing the average number of tornadoes from 1985 through 2014. Colorado, we are well into the 40s, averaging about 46 tornadoes per year. That is more than some of these extremely tornado prone states in the Mid-South, like Louisiana and Arkansas. You might think, well, my gosh, you just really don't associate tornadoes with Colorado. People probably think snowstorms. Why 
do we get so many here? Well, it starts off with a southeasterly wind at the surface and this raised area of land between Denver and Colorado Springs called the Palmer Divide. As that wind goes up and over, it starts to spin. This creates a little small scale low pressure somewhere in the Denver Front Range area. And as that low pressure starts to spin, it pulls more warm, humid air up into it, along with cool, dry air off of the foothills. And essentially what this creates is a little small scale cold front right here along the Front Range. Many days it will kind of line up with E470 and out near Denver International Airport. This has a term. This is called the Denver Convergence Vorsicity Zone. And as I say here on the banner, it's kind of our own little local thunderstorm tornado generator. It happens many days during the warm season of June, July, and August. And it is why we see a little bullseye for tornadoes in eastern Colorado. This map is showing the number of tornado days. These very, very dark colors here from parts of Florida through parts of Louisiana, Oklahoma, and eastern Colorado. Some of the highest number of tornado days per year in the country and there is our own little tornado alley in East Central Colorado something you probably never knew we have more on your weather coming up in just a little bit